Hello all, uh, my name is Kishan. I've been working as a data scientist for over three years now. So I have a deep interest towards cricket and data. So that explains why I've started a channel with the name Cricket Into Data. I'm trying to combine my passion in cricket uh, with what I have learned from different data science techniques that I've worked with and uh, different uh, data analysis that can be done upon cricket data. So recently cricket Twitter has been taken by Strom by a lot of wonderful, wonderful accounts who have tried to decode and analyze the game. So I'm just trying to contribute my bit towards that and also learn back from the community. So that's the reason and impetus behind why I created uh, this channel. So I hope I'll be able to uh, answer and fulfill different uh, queries that I'm getting as well as also learn back from the community in the same way and further enrich uh, the the data which has been collected around the game of cr cricket. Well, that's enough uh, introduction for now. Uh, and uh, so basically, this is uh, the first video in a in hopefully a set of uh, in a set of many, uh, which will explain different concepts on uh, cricket and uh, how to analyze cricket data. So I'm starting off with a very simple low hanging fruit. Uh, I'm trying to take users through a demo on Python, uh, a script which I built in Python, which will help to understand more about uh, player batting styles and player bowling styles and other attributes of players. And I'm making use of a pretty familiar website uh, for most of you. Uh, this is this needs no introduction. This is Crick Info, and uh, there are different attributes under the player profile section. So uh, before I talk further. This is going to be a demo on Python. So in case you're wondering uh, and uh, learning more about Python, you don't need to worry. There are a lot of ample resources out there which uh, make you familiar with Python. Anybody who's a beginner or an expert can use the script in the same way because it's, it's a pretty simple and self-explanatory script uh, where uh, I have tried to explain what each part of the code does. Uh, but before I dive deeper into the code, I'm trying to explain the concept and why we need to extract player information and what are the cases in which we will need to extract player data. So a lot of you in Cricket Twitter must be familiar with uh, this data source. This is basically a uh, Crick Sheet. This is, take, take, this is basically an extract from Crick Sheet. So Crick Sheet contains ball by ball data for different games, uh, be it test matches, be it the IPL, be it Big Bash League. It's a pretty comprehensive data source for uh, pretty much every single cricket game on the planet. So as you can see, a row here has a different set of information. And under the striker, there is the player name, RJ Sharma, uh, the non-striker's name, the bowler. And now how do I correlate this RG Sharma to be Rohit Sharma? And how do I know that Rohit Sharma belongs to India and he is a right-handed batsman? So this is what the script will try to supplement and achieve. It's going to make use of uh, Crickinfo search feature and uh, scrape out the data from the website and thereby help users make a better analysis on uh, on Crick Sheet as well. So the next step here, uh, I'm going to show you my Colab notebook. So for those of you who are not familiar with what is Colab, it's basically Google's offering of a, a Jupyter notebook. A Jupyter notebook is nothing but a compute environment which helps you to run a different scripts. So in this case, I am running my Python script on this hosted environment. As you can see, Google provides a comprehensive compute engine for uh, running your workloads. So I'm going to step through the script now uh, one by one. So basically, the object of the script is to extract whatever was shown on the screen a while back into a neat uh, formatted uh, data frame. As so a data frame is nothing but a table in simple terms. So I have a search term here. Uh, as I mentioned, I've written uh, Rohit Sharma. So I'm, I'm initializing the variable player with uh, Rohit Sharma. And these are the different set of libraries that I'm importing. Uh, it just makes use of three libraries here. One called request. Request is basically uh, going to access the contents of the web page. Uh, the other one called beautiful soup. 
a lot of you must be familiar with a beautiful soup basically it's uh, a good way to understand and parse the contents of a web page so in any web page there are different contents within it so you can click right click on inspect on any web page and it will open up something on the right so that's basically the HTML of the page which is basically the fundamental building blocks of pretty much any web page on the internet so how do we extract this information so that's where the request package is going to help you and on top of that you apply something called a soup which will help you to uh, kind of make this neater so I'm going to step through each of these uh, in a moment so don't fret if you're not getting a hang of these terms at this moment and pandas is a pretty standard python library which helps to process data in different sizes and shapes it's basically you can imagine to be a library which helps you to do simple analysis on upon tables so like i mentioned earlier uh, we're going to make use of crickinfo as our data source in this case uh, crickinfo is a pretty good uh, search interface which helps you to uh, search on different different aspects uh, so you can search Rohit Sharma here uh, and this gives you results under different tabs on players and stories related to Rohit Sharma uh, as we can see here there are two different Rohit Sharmas apparently so this is this is pretty new in, new observation for myself uh, I didn't know that India had another player called uh, RG Sharma so I can open his player profile, but this is the original Rohit Sharma that we will be familiar with. But nevertheless, there are cases when you will have uh, different subsets of players. So the script is able to script will be able to handle that. So I'm going to take a top down approach. I'm going to uh, just step through this code for now. This is basically a comprehensive function which will help us to uh, perform whatever I've spoken about basically navigate to the web page and extract the contents of the web page so I'm just going to uh, type this basically this function I'm calling on the player name Rohit Sharma and it gets me the information of both the Rohit Sharmas which are existent in inside Crick info now in the next section I will dive deeper into how to exactly achieve this and what does the script do and uh, what exactly it takes to uh, kind of break down the script into its different components and help under and understand more about the functionalities of that in the last section uh, i invoked this function called get player profile on the player name and uh, we saw how it returned back both the results within crick info so this video is going to be a deep dive on what exactly this function does by going through each of the steps so the first step is initializing the player name as we saw the search string in this case is uh, Rohit Sharma uh, but through which has been initialized through his initials RG Sharma so the next step which has to be done is to uh, invoke that crick info URL and replace that with the player search term so what I mean here is the search URL here in crick info that's having a parameter which is taking in the name of the player here so that's what we have to replace here so you can uh, you can take and take a look here if I type for example Imad was same how does that parameter change that's going to change through this way and I want to search on the player because I'm particularly interested in the players tab so I keep this part same and this part is constant only the search term changes and that's exactly what is being done in this step so click info search generic URL let's take a look at that click info search generic URL looks something like this and notice the placeholder here uh, all I'm doing is just replacing that placeholder with the name of the player the next step is to get the contents of the web page itself uh, on which this uh, this player is there so there are different links under this so let's go back to the example of Rohit Sharma because we're focusing on that uh, under this so this is what 
is the web page which is being returned upon hitting RG Sharma. Now I, I want a way uh, to extract these two web links and how do I do that? So the first step is to right click and inspect on the element. So what this does is opens up this opens up the HTML version of the page uh, which can be parsed then through the soup. So I, I dived a bit into this in the last video. Basically request is a library which is getting the contents of this page and now if I want to extract this tag uh, now I know that this link is under this href element. Now when I click on this I'm going to see the profile of Rohit Sharma opening. So you can see this. Now I don't want to do this manually. I want to use the script to do it. So that's exactly what the next step of this does. So I invoke the requests library. I have the get method which is basically getting the contents of the search URL and I have a search status code 200 as uh, most of you will be familiar it's a successful request. Now the next step is to pass this through a soup. The soup is basically what will help you to understand more about uh, what elements are there in the page. So elements are basically nothing but these tags here. There is the div element which is the results in players. Under that there is a paragraph element called P. There is a header element under H3. But what we are interested in this particular case uh, is the element with the tag A and having the attribute href. So that's the next step. You initialize the soup. You get the soup. Uh, now we can take a look at what the soup looks like. So soup is basically the whole content which we saw on the right side of the page that's been that's been imported back into Python here. So I'm going to, I'm going to go back and command this. I don't need that for now. What I'm doing next is like I mentioned I'm going to take only the href elements for the soup which have this tag content slash player. So I need I need only the links which have player names so that's the player list initially so you can see there is a redundant quick info URL which is coming up uh, and I found this to be happening across different uh, pages so the next thing I am just going to remove that uh, using this condition if HTTPS is not in the elements which are there through this list I'm just going to remove that so that I get the exact URLs that have been hit now we can see this URL 34102 matches whatever we searched for here for the Rohit Sharma. So that is Rohit Sharma's URL. And I'm going to now navigate through this list of URLs that I've obtained and repeat the same process. Now, why do I repeat this? Because so the first step was getting the requests from this page. Now the second step is to get the request from this particular page so that we are able to access this elements full name, bond, age, batting style, whatever elements which are there under these headers. So that's what I'm doing next. I'm getting something called the profile soup. Notice that the first uh, step here is the request library again and the second step is passing it through a soup object. So now we have the profile soup and in the profile soup now I can go here and repeat the same thing go and click inspect on this then we see that the full name is under the element called P with this particular class and the value of that is Rohit Gurnath Sharma which is his name and that's under the H5 class so by now I hope you are more or less familiar with how to understand the contents of the web page by clicking inspect on that. So that's what I'm doing next. I'm finding out all the elements which are there under the headers. So you can see for Rohit Sharma we have six different elements and what are the values of those? We get it neatly because we are getting the text element of those elements. So you can see here the text. Rohit Kutna Sharma, full name. Next one 
is this element born born in Nagpur Maharashtra so that's what I'm trying to do it's pretty simple and now I'm making it into a pandas data frame which is going to give me a neat version of all this data and just making it uh, I'm just initializing a variable to that and whatever I got as the header elements I'm just initializing that to be its columns so that I get this particular format here and I can then export that out into any CSV file and there you go you have the CSV file ready which is telling you more about Rohit Sharma's player attributes now you can extend this in a lot of different ways my script is basically just doing this demo for just a single player but it will be a good stretch exercise for any of you who are following the video until this point to try this on a bulk list of players so I have posted a solution for this at the end but what I want uh, uh, to do as a challenge for anyone who is seeing this they can take this up and see if they can pass through this different set of values because the running time of the script is pretty short as you can see so that is a pretty good way to uh, understand more about cricket data and how to make use of cricket data uh, especially using python in this case so if you have any other suggestions or feedback on what are the different ways please do leave a comment below this video now the the main catch in this uh, kind of analysis is we are reliant on other sources of data to get it for our own use so you can see uh, in some cases Crickinfo's search interface is a bit flaky so for example if I type Rabada I get the correct result of uh, Kagiso Rabada Kahiso Rabada rather but this Rabada if I just add Rabada K there is no result for that now this is something which we can't exactly control so you need to be uh, making sure that you have that data in your in your database so for other cases uh, it might work uh, but if this is the case and you have the search string as Rabada K then there's nothing much we can do from our side so these are just that's just a disclaimer I wanted to put out there before people are uh, working through the script uh, themselves I hope you liked the first video hopefully this is the first video in a series of many I'm looking to upload uh, much more content along the same lines on uh, different pet projects I've been working on so just to mention if you have been working uh, a bit on uh, our DRS data how teams have taken referrals over the years how uh, and a recent project which I undertook is also about how teams have dropped different catches at various fielding positions during the ongoing IPL so I'll be sharing more about uh, the work I've been doing on this front but I guess this is the end of this uh, first video in CricketX data and I hope you liked uh, what I've shared with you please do like share and uh, subscribe and do the usuals uh, for my channel CricketX data I am sharing a few other links below this uh, video in the description please do follow me on Twitter and Instagram as well and thank you and please uh, do stay home and stay safe thank you bye